Hello guys and welcome to order 40 pentagon numbers. Pentagonal numbers are generated by the given formula. The first 10 pentagonal numbers are listed. You can be seen that P4 plus P7 equals 22 plus 70 which yields 92 is equal to P8. However, the difference 70 minus 22 is 48 is not pentagonal. Find the pair of pentagonal numbers PJ and PK for which the sum and difference are pentagonal and D is the absolute value of PK minus PJ, which is minimize what is the value of D. For this problem, we are not given a search base, and then we need to figure out if the number is pentagonal or not. So I went online and I found this article here that gives us two formulas on how to generate pentagonal numbers, and then some guy actually came along and proved why these two formulas are actually equal to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and post the link of this underneath the video, just in case you're interested in this. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is generate some pentagonals. And for that, we need our pentagonal function. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's do a private uh, static uh, int pentagonal. Let's go ahead and take in the value. And let's uh, return our value times three times uh, val minus one and we're going to divide that by two the next thing we want to do is generate a list or an array of pentagonal numbers so let's go ahead and do that so static int array let's call this one uh, pentagonals this takes no argument and what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and keep a variable. Let's make this a final, call it limit. And for now, we're just going to calculate the first uh, 1,000 pentagonals. Next, what we want to do here is use the in stream to go ahead and generate the pentagonal numbers. I want to use threads for this just to speed things up. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to do uh, in stream. I'm going to use the range. We're going to start from one to the limit and then we're going to go ahead and parallelize it and then what we need to do is uh, map this and we're going to use our pentagonal um, method so we're going to do uh, pentagonal and then we're going to go ahead and convert this to array the next thing to do is to figure out if the number is pentagonal or not so we're going to do a private uh, static uh, boolean is pentagonal and this is going to go ahead and take in the value I'm going to say var uh, number is going to equal to do math that's square root so I'm just going to go ahead and convert one of those um, uh, formulas to one plus uh, 24 times val plus 1. Oh, and then we're going to go ahead and divide this by 6. So this is going to go ahead and yield a double. What we need to do is cast this. So we're going to return a number. This is equal to, equal to. We're going to cast this number. And we're good to go. Next thing to do is to find our minimized pentagonal. The first thing to do is uh, get our array of pentagonal numbers. So it's going to be pentagonals. Pentagonal, let's do pentagonals. And then we need to go ahead and keep our result. So we're going to say result is going to be equal to zero for now. And then we need to keep a variable to stop our outer loop. This is going to be a boolean. Let's call this one uh, stop outer. It's going to be true for now. So with this problem, all we need to do is find the first case where uh, D is minimized meaning that the sum and the difference has to be pentagonal and then we can just exit from there. So what we need to do is keep a for loop, we'll do a var index equal to zero 
index is less than the array dot length uh, index plus plus. And then we need an inner loop to go through the rest of the possible values. And so var uh, the s index here is going to be equal to index plus one. Um, s index is less than the array that length and then we're going to do uh, s index plus plus so what we're going to do is that when we find the result in the inner loop we need to break however we need to also exit the outer loop so i'm going to use the uh, boolean here i'm going to say while the uh, index is less than the array that length and uh, stop outer is actually true all right so once we have this we need to check to see if the sum and difference are actually pentagonal. We're going to say if uh, is pentagonal, we're going to do uh, array, and then we'll do uh, s index, and we're going to minus array uh, index and array uh, and is pentagonal array. Uh, index plus array s index. So if the sum and the uh, difference are pentagonal, then we just need to go ahead and keep the results. So results going to equal to math dot apps, and this is going to be array plus index uh, minus um, uh, S index. Then what we need to do is we need to set the outer. So stop outer equals to false. And then we need to go ahead and break. And then we need to just go ahead and uh, return the result. Next, what we need to do is create main with the public static void main, and then go ahead. So this is going to be our uh, d the value of d. It's going to be equal to uh, minimize result. Let's go ahead and print that out. All right. So when we run this the first time. We should go ahead and get zero. The reason is because we don't have enough pentagonal numbers to actually get the first result. So we have to we can increment by another one thousand and try that. And um, this is gives us zero. So you can try three thousand pentagonal numbers and run that, and we get the result for this problem. All right, guys. So this is how um, I try to minimize the source space by just passing in a limit on how many pentagonal numbers is going to give us our first minimized value because all we need to do is make sure that these minimize all right and then once we find that first uh difference and sum that are actually um pentagonals we just need to stop that means that our initial value or our result is only going to change when we have enough pentagonal numbers uh to actually uh uh get into the uh into this portion of the code right then we can just stop there Actually, I think you need less than 3,000 pentagonal numbers. I think something like uh, 2,500 should actually uh, be okay for this. All right, so about 2,500 and you should be able to still yield the same result. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumb up. I'll see you guys in the next uh, Project Roller video. Bye-bye.